when the city population keeps growing, when human lifestyles and activities become more diverse, when energy consumption increases, when waste keeps spilling out. That's when the time bomb starts ticking. The warnings are there. From plastic waste pollution on coastal areas, destruction of marine ecosystem, poisonous waste polluting water sources, to the production of methane gas, a strong contributor of climate crisis. Tragically, these things have placed Indonesia as the second biggest contributor to the global plastic waste problem. What if we take the time to try reducing the risk of disasters? Before it is too late, let's join ICLE Indonesia to take active measures together on reducing risk of plastic waste-related disaster and stop the time bomb from exploding. ICLE Indonesia, in collaboration with the Environmental Agency of Bogor City Government, through accelerating climate action, through the promotion of urban low emission development strategies or urban LEDs 2. The urban LEDs 2 project is jointly implemented by ICLE and UN Habitat and funded by the European Union, has implemented a big scale pilot project that aims to reduce municipal waste in Chipaku 3R temporary landfill Bogor City. Using hydrothermal technology, municipal solid waste and biomasses can be processed and utilized, same as original. Residual and organic waste are prepared. And processed under high pressure and high temperature. Resulting in non-toxic and useful products, including solid fuel, compass, and liquid fertilizer rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium with similar quality as commercial fertilizer. Aside from reducing waste generation, this technology potentially can provide additional benefits or revenue from the potential products. The revenue will benefit the community. It will be managed by the Committee of TPS3R Chipaku and supervised under the Environment Agency of Bogor City. This technology is able to convert raw material feedstock into solid product with better characteristic for solid fuel and compass. The hydrothermal process is proven to be able to create liquid products in the form of liquid fertilizer, which contain nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, with the quality equal to commercial fertilizer sold in the market. The pyrolysis technology works by decomposing raw material in high temperature without oxygen, resulting in charcoal, non-condensable gases or NCG, and liquid oil as the final products. The oil produced from this process can also be used as fuel to operate the reactor in a hydrothermal process, thus potentially reducing the fuel cost. This technology has high potential in processing plastic waste and producing liquid oil that can be utilized as fossil fuel substitution. Di belakang saya adalah sebuah alat pengelolaan sampah padat yang dapat dimanfaatkan untuk kebutuhan masyarakat. Tujuannya adalah untuk mengurangi sampah di tempat pembuangan akhir. Dengan kerjasama yang dilakukan ICLE bersama Dinas Lingkungan Hidup Kota Bogor, diharapkan mampu berkontribusi terhadap pengurangan sampah kota. Dan di sisi lain, dapat memanfaatkan pengelolaan sampah ini di dalam konteks lingkungan dan ekonomi masyarakat. Apabila hasilnya ini akan maksimal, maka tentunya beberapa TPS 3R yang dimiliki di Kota Bogor juga harus mulai melakukan satu upaya-upaya pengolahan sampah dengan teknologi tidak hanya sekedar dikumpul, dipilah dan dibuang tapi diolah mempunyai nilai manfaat yang lebih baik lagi dari kondisi yang saat ini Jika kita bisa mengolah sampah organik dan plastik secara terpisah maka dia bisa menghasilkan produk yang lebih bermanfaat Sampah-sampah organik dijadikan pupuk organik cair dan sampah plastik dijadikan minyak Dengan begitu kita bisa berharap Uh, proses pengolahan sampah yang lebih 
berkelanjutan yang tidak membutuhkan biaya pengolahan yang tinggi. Uh, di sini kami sangat terbantu sekali dengan adanya alat ini dan insya Allah kami berharap berkomitmen untuk dapat memilah sampah dari rumah sebelum dibawa ke 3R. Not only effectively reduce waste accumulation in temporary landfill, application of this technology will also contribute in reducing greenhouse gases emission. And, of course, supports the achievement of Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs of Bogor City. Besides that, the hydropyrolysis products, specifically solid and liquid fertilizer, can give additional benefits in terms of promoting a circular economy. Therefore, join our effort in diffusing this time bomb by supporting the sustainability of this pilot project. Let's create healthy and prosperous environment as our legacy for the next generation because the time is still ticking and the danger of plastic waste in Indonesia is still lurking.